My name is Roisin Shortall, I'm a TD for the Social Democrats and I'm the spokesperson on health. I think there's enormous potential. We've been talking for years about the need to uh, to expand the capacity of public health, to put more emphasis on promo health promotion and uh, early intervention, and yet we haven't been doing that in practice. It is front and centre in relation to the Sluncha Care programme, but there are enablers that need to be put in place in order that uh, public health can play its full part. Those enablers, I think, are first of all better data systems. Um, and uh, there, there are big problems there. Um, I think the, the other thing is in relation to identifying the social determinants of health and tackling the growing problem of child poverty. I think you'd have to say there are two things, you know, I think that come to my mind. The vaccination programmes um, you know, operators throughout the schools in particular, child vaccinations and, and others. And they have been very successful and there's been very positive public acceptance of those and, you know, we have avoided huge levels of, of illness as a result of that. I think the other role that public health has played, particularly in recent years, is highlighting the, um, you know, the, the social determinants of, of health and also, I think, the commercial determinants of health. I think increasingly we're, we're coming to understand those better. I think it would have to be um, viruses, unknown viruses, and certainly after the experience of COVID, I think that is an enormous challenge. Um, there's also challenges in terms of funding public health properly and recognising the importance of that and indeed funding anti-poverty measures. So, you know, is government serious about this or not? And, and that's what the question, it's an open question and it is yet to be answered. You know, there's a lot of lip service being paid to the need to tackle these issues and yet, you know, time and time again over recent years, the same issues are coming up. So why are we not doing this? Why are we not... Uh, why do we not have an objective resource allocation model uh, so that you know we can target those areas of greatest need and uh, uh, tackle the fact that we have you know the inverse care law um, but also then I think to be much more strategic and targeted about health promotion messages because clearly they're not being heard by a lot of people there are reasons for that and it's generally to do with poverty.